I have two beautiful Van Cleef hiding in these two boxes and if you click into this video you know that I'm going to be talking about two beautiful necklaces. So today's focus is going to be comparing the size, the wear and also the functionalities on two very similar necklaces. Welcome back to today's video. My name is Vivian and welcome to my first luxury I am going to be comparing these two lovely necklaces I can't wait to get into all the details with you guys and if this is the first video you're watching on my first luxury Welcome on this channel. We do a lot of luxury in-depth reviews If this is the first video that you're watching make sure you check any of the new videos that we have linked in the description box I look forward for you to joining this community. I have done other comparisons on Van Cleave Alhambra collection. Make sure you check the description box. Today we're going to be comparing, you know, a very practical and perhaps entry level necklaces. One of them is the vintage Alhambra in the red carnelian stone with a yellow gold chain. A little bit more information about the vintage Alhambra as I did a little bit of narrowing down. For the entry level, the collection actually offers 10 different stones for you to choose from. You know, it goes from white mother of pearl and onyx which are the two stones that's least expensive from this lineup the price for them are currently 2430 US dollars as of June 2020 there's other stones the red carnelian one would be a little bit more expensive compared to the white mother of pearl or onyx and I know that Van Cleef just dropped a brand new stone which is the gray mother of pearl with a rose gold setting that one is just just stunning. The mother of pearl is a natural stone that has iridescent light when you look at it from different angle and also depends on how it's polished. So I do love that the gray mother of pearl is a new stone option. The other one I have is the beautiful sweet Alhambra in the mother of pearl and it has this beautiful butterfly motif on there. There are six different stones that you can choose from from the sweet Alhambra necklace lineup excluding the diamond options and the starting price is 1340 US dollars as of June 2020 offered in the white mother of pearl with the yellow gold setting I recommend you guys to look into these two Van Cleef their Alhambra collection is one of their most recognizable collection and the sweet Alhambra the price point for those necklaces it's around mid $1,000 so this particular one is priced at $1,000 380. It has a very nice motif that hangs on the chain. The carnelian stone is currently priced at 2680. I did purchase this necklace back in 2015. You know, the price point back then was actually 200 US dollar less. Than the, than the current price. So I just wanted to point that out. Luxury sometimes is a really good form of investment, in my opinion, especially on jewelry. They tend to hold the value kind of stable compared to luxury fashion. This is my personal opinion. Anyway, without further talking, let's get started on the comparison of vintage Alhambra and the sweet Alhambra. So now you can see both necklaces next to each other. The one on the left is the Sweet Alhambra Butterfly Mother of Pearl motif with yellow gold. And on the right hand side, we have a Vintage Alhambra in yellow gold also with the Carnelian Center Stone. Now let's get into comparing all of the differences and details. Right now, I place them next to each other so you can see the colors of the yellow gold. There is a slight color differences between these two shades of yellow gold. It could be the composition, it could also be because they are bought from different times. Let's look at the Sweet Alhambra first. It's a smaller size pendant and you can see that there are some gaps between the frame and the center stone. I've seen it on all necklaces so it's a normal thing. And on the Vintage Alhambra, you can almost see the same thing, which is it doesn't flash completely and it's normal. 
Okay, now let's look at the width and how thick each necklaces are because they are kind of different, obviously. The beads on the Sweet Alhambra is smaller compared to the Vintage Alhambra on the right hand side. In this frame, you can see that it's also thinner when you compare the width of both pendants. And now let's compare the chains. Like I mentioned earlier, due to different, you know, composition or different wearing or it could be aging, the yellow gold looks slightly different on both pieces. And this is basically the hook of both necklaces. You can see the Van Cleef stamp on there and you can also see the color difference. Here is the gold hallmark, which is the AU750. You see the one on the right it appears to be a little bit more yellowish than the left. The Sweet Alhambra has a smaller hook compared to the Vintage and it's only because everything needs to be downsized and proportioned correctly. These are the round connectors between the chain and the little hook and there are a couple of other stamps here. And lastly, it's very important to show you guys the visual between the real sizes. And so I stack the necklaces on top of each other. So you can see the sweet Alhambra size on top of the vintage Alhambra. Here's a better visual of the sweet Alhambra compares to the vintage Alhambra size on top of each other. So you can see in relation of how it actually looks on. And I have done comparison between the Carnelian and the Pink Holiday uh, pendant. So if you wanna check that out, I'll make sure I put it in the links below. The reason why I chose the butterfly charm is because I just think it's another beautiful symbol that I associate with when it comes down to Van Cleef. You know, they're obviously very known for the beautiful four leaf clover. That's what got me into this Van Cleef game to begin with. The second piece Piece, I just felt like I wanted to go for something a little bit different and another thing I want to point out That's like the really big difference between how the necklace wears is the vintage Alhambra actually has clover charm attached to the chain So it pretty much, you know stays that way. It doesn't really flip around But obviously depending on what you do you could get the necklace to flip But it is set in the way that you can see stones on both sides. So it's okay on the other hand the sweet Alhambra basically has a charm so the charm sometimes would rotate when you move around and oftentimes I find the charm pretty much is attached to the end of the chain by the end of the day it is heavy it is the only movement that you have on the chain and when it rotates sometimes you know the gold tag that is close to the closure will rotate all the way to the front so I often find myself in that position where I'm like okay I just need to pull the chain all the way back so that's another thing you should consider as far as look goes I think if you are someone who likes dainty jewelry both of these are good choices however the sweet Alhambra is smaller compared to the vintage size this is really a personal preference I can't really tell you I like the smaller one more or the bigger one more but personally the vintage size was my first choice this sums up all the details that I have found the real differences between the two different sizes and obviously they came from two different collection and when it comes down to money there is almost 1,000 US dollar differences between the sweet Alhambra and the vintage you'll probably want to ask me which one do I think it's better I like the look equally and I purposely chose a different charm and as I mentioned the vintage Alhambra is my first purchase choice and I really liked it because that's something that really spoke to me and I tried it on I just fell in love with it and I also was super lucky to have found this pink porcelain one which I also did a detailed review on so if you want to see that make sure you check the links below the sweet Alhambra I love that it's a super dainty and super delicate look it looks like the butterfly is floating on the chain and 
I just like the look of it. However, I would say if you're going to make your first purchase ever from Van Cleve, I would say go for the vintage size. The user experience is going to be more stable. You probably won't find any surprises when you wear them. Also, depending on the budget, the Sweet Alhambra, you can definitely score it under 1500 US dollars. If you have a thousand dollar more, you should definitely go for the vintage one. I hope this video provided some different angles and perspectives that could assist you make a better choice when it comes down to vintage or Sweet Alhambra necklaces. And if you like this video, I would love if you give it a thumbs up and also really supports the channel. If you want to see more videos that I have done on jewelry, I have created playlists and also you can just check the description box below. I hope you are subscribed to the channel by now because I look forward to seeing you on the upcoming new videos. Take care now guys.